The draw has been done. I'm feeling better. Olympic Lyonnais, here we go. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to the NK Marrow Save. I am Coach Left Foot and today I'm feeling much, much better. Uh, I seem to have got over the worst of the flu cold thing that I had. But yes, we've been drawn against Olympic Lyonnais. With all the teams that were available to be drawn against, we got quite a good draw. Uh, it's been pretty good. I mean, we've only had the winter break, so not much has happened. We won two games after the CSK Moscow win. We won them both, played four friendlies, went on a tour of the Caribbean because... We're flush with money now, so we can do that sort of thing. Uh, the assistant manager decided to play Christian Hodzic, and he scored a hat-trick in the last game. We're not playing him, obviously. No one wanted him in the transfer window, so yeah, that's happened. But today, we're playing Olympic Lyonnais, the first leg at home, so hopefully the kids will do all right because they like to play at home. And then we've got Labdob Dada Putja, which I'll bring you as well. Uh, and then we'll be back in the next episode for the second leg against Lyonnais and NK Cooper. So... Really, not much else to discuss. Uh, transfers, obviously we haven't bought anyone in, but we have sold Peter Kopriva for 625k. We kept him in Slovenia so that you know we're still trying to build the league up. He didn't really get a chance with us. Five appearances, never really performed. We overpaid for him when we bought him in. Happy to let him go cheap to another Slovenian team. Have to see how it goes. But we're now ready to face Olympic Lyonnais. So we'll pick the team. Uh, let's get this onto unavailable. As you can see, we've got loads of players to pick from because of the so many of them are under 21. And obviously in the Champions League, if you're under 21, you don't need to be registered. So, Gyro's in goal. Sasso's We're going to stick with the diamond for this game. Uh, in the defence, we're going to have Altendorf. And, oh, I don't know. Who should we go for? Yaroslav Hlubi is someone you haven't really seen before. Um, over Christensen is the guy that's been playing fairly regularly recently. And he's not set the world alight, to be fair. Lewis Tamblin Cooper is a guy we bought from Bristol City uh, for a million quite a few seasons ago. Hoffman is also another good one. He's been playing uh, not very much, actually. I'm getting mixed up with him. Uh, Milanadic, he looks like he could be quite useful. Again, not played for us this season. And uh, Alexander Glushek, who will probably get the nod today, is the other person that's been playing pretty regularly. So we're going to go for them. Christensen will go on the bench, though, because we know he's a pretty sturdy backup to have. And obviously, the backup goalkeeper will be on the bench as well. Uh, left back will be going to Lekic for this game. Deep lying playmaker in the holding midfielder will be Milinkovic. Um, the advanced playmaker is Cahello, and then it is Dalushi next to him. In the advanced playmaker is Blazic. He loves to score a goal from there. Uh, Martin Yerko is also leaving us as well. He's arranged a move at the end of his contract. He didn't want to sign a new contract with us, so he can uh, piss off to the B team for now because we're not going to play him if he wants to move. And then up front, we've got Oscar Malahi and Daniel uh, Dalibor Perga, who has had a bit of a knock, but he's back and hopefully will be all right. Jan Zager can go on the bench with Mad Todvik. Um... On the bench, we'll have uh, Pearson and left foot. And ooh, what do we want? Probably want another attacking player if we need to get a goal. Let's go for. We'll go for Kim Andre Pereira, who is the attacking fielder. Again, he's played a few games, really good physicals, just waiting for his mental and technical stats to develop a little bit. But anyway, that's how we're going to play. We're going to start attacking, we're going to go at them. Um, and hopefully get a few goals. Yes, Glushek is lacking match sharpness, but I think he'll be perfectly fine. So we are playing at home. The assistant can go and deal with that. They line up in a 4-4-2. We'll just make sure we've got goal replays on. And a 4-4-2. So they're potentially going for it in this game. I'm going to tell the guys, let's go and give the fans something to cheer for today. And then passionately tell them there's a lot more to come from absolutely all of them. Um, as I mentioned before, there will be a video. Oh, I said the wrong thing. I said expect performance. So... It got Oscar Malahi fired up for the game. But anyway, as I mentioned before, uh, Saturday, this Saturday, 10 o'clock, if you're watching this in the future, then it's already happened. Uh, my Football Manager 18 plans video will be out. It's only a little video where it's one-on-one -on -one with me on the screen just to say what I'm planning to do for Football Manager 18. And I'm really looking forward to it. So let's get back to the game. As uh, Olympic Lyonnais look to come forward to Katchuk. Goes round Zor pretty easily. Puts a cross in. Van Mill squares it. Keys there. Or Quay or Key. I don't know how. Kwaku 
K, I'd probably pronounce that. And um, Olympic Lyonnais won 0 up in 2 minutes and 34 seconds. So this is a pretty terrible start, to be honest. So yeah, Takuchuk get down the left, beat two players into Van Mille, and then, oh, look at those three players. What are they doing? They've all run to the man with the ball, leaving Key in the middle, completely open and free, and that's rubbish. Absolutely terrible defending and teamwork and communication. Really, really shocking. I mean, no one's having a bad game, really. Zor could improve his rating a little bit. Let's see if we can just mix something up here. We're not really getting into the game. We'll, uh, what should we do? What should we do? Let's exploit the middle a little bit more. That's it for now. I just like, we've got all of our strength down the middle. We need to get Blazic in the game and get the ball to Oscar Malahi and Perga up front, really. Try and get them to create something. As we are getting back into the game. We're dominating possession. We had good shots on and off targets. Rotondo puts it in. And Victor Hugo has hit the bar, I think it was there, with a free header at the back post. And they're just cutting through us at the moment. It's Cahello wins the header. Uh, Gushik with a good interception up to Perga. Perga into Blazic. Cahello. These are the players we need on the ball. Into Darushi. Perga's there. Shoots. Good save. Malahi picks up the rebound but couldn't get it under his spell. And it is cleared away as Van Mille finishes the clearance along the line. But we're into half time and it's not going incredibly well. We could go for something drastic and try the 4 3 3. We are at home. We do need a goal. Uh, and I think that is what we're going to do. We're going to put Darushi in there as deep line playmaker. Blazic can come back here. Milinkovic who is actually one of our better performers, is going to come off for Jan Zagar. You two can switch around and then you can go to an advance forward up there. And we'll see if that gives us any more luck as we put another striker on. Try and go for the jugular and get a goal. I don't want to lose the home leg because we are so poor away from home. As Zagar turns in the box, squares it. Oh, Malay hits the post, gets the rebound back. Zor, Delushi. Into Blazic, into Zega, and I've just realised I forgot to do a team talk, didn't I? Oh well, it seems to have fired them up, as Blazic will line up this free kick. Goes for goal, and okay, what an interesting time to um, end the highlight. That was mental, because that looked like it was going in, or at least on target. Anyway, Victor Hugo for a limit Lyonet, into Francesco, to Kaczewski. Dan Zor with a good tackle, much better from Saza Zor. Malahi, ball across, it falls to Blazic on the edge. To Delushi, there's space out right if we can find him. Blazic, Cahello, into Perga. Perga tackled by Hugo and Lione looked to launch a counter-attack. It's a long ball over the top as Key gets in behind. Van Meel's there. And the two strikers combine and make it 2-0 to Lione. This is not very good for us at all as Key just got onto the hoof ball clearance. Down to the byline, fizzed it low. Keeper's got no chance in that range. Maybe could have come and got it earlier, but disappointing stuff to be 2-0 down at home in the Champions League and it looks like we'll be kissing the Champions League goodbye this season it just has not gone right for us as Mad Hodvik is going to come on those two are going to swap over he'll be a complete forward on attack and we'll go back to how it should be Blazic is not having a good game we're going to bring on uh, Pearson for him and oh, all dice have been rolled and we need to get something out of this Van Mill through to Keys through on goal again shoots good save from Gyro and we are not playing very well at all in this game. Well, we are, stats-wise, but we're just not taking our chances. Four on target, five off target, hit the woodwork once, two clear-cut chances, missed them both. But we have given four clear-cut chances away to Leonais. To Kuchin Keys there, it's 3-0. And I think this is game over for sure now. It's just not going to be very good for us in the Champions League. The kids, as we said, in the league, they've done all right. When it comes to Europe, they have struggled, and this looks like a step too far. As Hovic picks the ball up into Jan Zega to Cahello. Cahello to Malahi, tackled by Francesconi. Up to Key, who's run us riot all game. Key on the left-hand side, Zor with a good tackle, and Malahi can't get there. Petkovic to, to catch, or to Kuch, I don't know how you pronounce that name. Ball in, Key flicks it on Rolando, Rolando Rotondo. Um, it's Cesar Rotondo makes it 4-0 to Olympic Lyonnais, and we are getting an absolute spanking. This is very, very bad from the boys. Even though we're playing the youngsters, I'd expect better. I really would expect better. We'll just go to a standard thing now. We're going to have to, well, pull a bloody rabbit out of the hat to get this back in the second leg because I don't see us doing it. As Lekic into Pearson, up to Cahello. Can we at least get a consolation goal? Galushek, no we won't. There's full time at left foot park. NK Maribor, nil. Olympic Lyonnais, four. And I'm 
aggressively telling them I'm not happy with that, and that is very, very poor. It is all over. It's shit. It's rubbish. Get rid of them. Sack them all. Spend all the money. Get some big players in. Oh, dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Right, we'll be back for the game against Labdob the Dab Putcha. I shall see you right there. Okay, here we are back for the game against Labdob the Dab Putcha, and we're lining up in a 4 1 2 2 1 formation, or a 4 2 3 1, or no, 4 1 2 3, whatever it is. And um, yeah, Gyro's in goal, Scard, Hoffman, Altendorf, and left foot at the back. Milkanok, Mil Milankovic, a holding midfield, Dedushin Kahello in the middle, Anderson on the right, Zagor on the left, and Perga up front. And we're going to go into the game. Sabrin and Delushi will be captain for today's game. And uh, we'll send the assistant. Go to Ops Instructions. He can do that. Team talk. Passionately. Um, let's show the world what this team's all about. I not, don't know how many of the world will be watching NK Maribel versus Labdob Dab Putcher. Maybe a few more than before because obviously we've won the Champions League. So we're a bit of a better reputation. But we've gone back to the 4-1-2-3 to, uh, I don't know, try and just maybe... Get some injection of goals into the team. We're not scoring that many. As Perga hits a shot from range, which hits the bar, or bar and post cross angle thing, uh, and then bounces out and is cleared. But we're dominating the game again. We're just really seems to be not clinical enough at the moment, and we're missing a Jean Marie Roche or Volkan Gergic sort of player. As uh, Jan Zegar's picked up a knock, but seems to be recovering pretty well. Uh, that's a new little player position for him as well on the left-hand side. He can do it. He is right-footed, so he likes to be as a, an inside forward. But So assertively, I'm not happy with the performance. Get out there and give me something different. It's Milankovic out to left foot. Left foot to Cahello to Delushi. Delushi looks to play it into feet, but again, the highlight ends just as it gets interesting. Uh, Perga is struggling up front, and Anderson is struggling on the right. So what we're going to do is bring Blazic on there. He can go on to the left-hand side. And uh, Perga is going to be replaced by Oscar Malehi as the complete forward. Um, and that's what we'll do for now. We haven't got anyone that can replace Scard. He hasn't really impressed whenever he's been given the opportunity, which is a shame because I like all my youngsters to impress. As Zagar squares it, left foot's there, pings it in. Sam left foot, number 11. He finally got rid of the uh, number 33 shirt. I know he said he'd get that, he'd have that for his whole career. But um, he got the number 11 shirt because we had a big reorganisation of, of team numbers. And yeah, there he goes. Pings it in. Lovely finish. Keeper's got no chance. Number 11, Sam left foot. Wonderful. 1-0 up. 7-point lead at the top of the table. I would be disappointed if we don't win the league. We should really win the league. Um, as Dorushi comes forward into Jan Zagar. Jan Zagar into Dorushi. Dorushi to Malehi. Out to Scard. Mad Scard. Cross in. Oh, he's hit the bar. I mean, he's having a terrible game and he certainly didn't mean that. But he's, he's hit the bar. As uh, we keep possession and recycle it. Left foot to Altendorf. Milankovic to Delushi. Delushi moves forward into Jan Zager. Jan Zager out to Skard. He's getting a lot of freedom on that side. Delushi off the bar. Puts in the rebound. Mad Skard getting more involved in this game now. Which is really good to see. And Delushi scores a goal. Which should put this game beyond any reasonable doubt. And Labdor Drapic probably can't get involved in it. As Delushi just reacts first to the falling ball off the bar. Makes it 2-0. Very, very comfortable indeed for us at the moment. Let's get some fresh legs on. Who else have we got in here that we can bring on? Uh, let's go for... Let's go for Gulshuk. We need to get his match fitness up a bit. So we'll give Hoffman a rest. Or actually, no, we won't. We'll give... Um, we'll do that way. We'll bring on Gulshuk. Can anyone play there better than him? No, not really. We'll leave Glushik at right, right back. He'll be all right. He'll be fine. Madsgard is getting into the game, but that yellow card is something to be a little bit concerned about because that's Azor is currently out on suspension as well. Um, but as the time ticks down, it looks like we're going to have a nice 2-0 win, which is good. Uh, I think we're going to stick with this formation a little bit longer, just try and give it a bit more time. Left foot with the ball in. Obelez with a very easy catch. That should wind the time down. As Oh, Malay, he's pounced on poor, poor passing at the back. I thought that was going to be it. It's not. It's gone to 3-0. And what a performance this is. I mean, this is terrible. Lorbeck to Collar. Going for a fancy round the corner pass. I don't know what that was. But Malay, he pounces and makes it 3-0. With 15 seconds to go, we're not going to get another R. We hopefully will keep the clean sheet as Cahello just hoofs it clear. Four seconds to go. That will be the game as Josic is there. 3-0 win at left foot park. A much better performance. That is what we're after. We can be pleased with that. Calmly, a good win 
Well done, lads. Much, much better. Seven points clear at the top. We're not going to have an unbeaten season anymore. But that was very, very good. And, uh, oh, spewed. Scard is set for a pay increase. After 10 games, he's going to be paid one grand. Our wage bill, I'm imagining, is very, very cheap. Because we don't have anyone on extortionate wages. Because they're all so young. Bless them. But, yeah. There we go. So, it was a, I know, terrible performance against Olympic Lyonnais. But, at least in the league, we're still... Putting in Sam Leftfoot getting another goal as well. Uh, what's the most he scored in a season? Five. Five goals in a season back in 29-30. Interesting. Interesting. Assist-wise, 13 assists he got in 2028-29. So, I mean, look at those performances. He's been very, very good for us when he's played. To be fair to the boy. My boy. Well done. Uh, father, cultured left foot. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Anyway. Cool, we're going to leave it there and uh, we'll be back for the next game against Olympic Lyonnais. Um, but thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. There'll be lots of Foot Manager 18 content when it's released. Man United in the beta. I'm not going to spoil the, the plans, actually. Why would I do that? There's a whole video about it coming out. But thanks very much for watching. I'll chat to you all very, very soon. But for now, I'm out of here. Cheers. <laughs>